is that better? So the buzzing is better, is it? Much better buzzing? How about that? Volume better now? Bingo, cool. Right, um, quite a few things to show you today. Should be fun. Should be. Got some interesting stuff. Okay, um First thing to show you is new horses. Little pony here. New horsey here. see here lots of new horses didn't actually realize there were ponies to be honest <laughs> <laughs> well they are can you pause and matrix cam them what do you mean I don't I don't know what you mean So, oh, there's a sliding pony there. Right. Well, didn't notice that before. That rotates when it's paused. So, horsey <laughs> here, little pony, that sound plays when it's paused, and big cart horse here, um, the cart horses are for the level 5 carts, because they're quite big. Um, there's about three different colours for each horse as well. Right, anyway. Um, now. We'll walk over here. Nice slow walk to show you something else. Cow.
Over here, we have a herbalist's hut. Which is a house and um, a business. So we have a lady here picking herbs. And a lady in here making things. Um, lots of things by the looks of it. Lots and lots of things. This is the first business that's a house as well, isn't it? Uh, yep. That is correct. Um, so they can pick herbs and make balm and herbal tea. A balm and herbal tea and medicines for sick people to not be sick anymore. And it's got some similar upgrades to your house as well. Um, and this garden here, it works like a field, so you can select the um, what's in it. Right now you can only put herbs in it, but I guess I can put other stuff in it as well. Right now, something else to show is the player can now get sick and um, be affected by hunger and tiredness and whatnot. Um, and they can be cold and they can be warm, you know, all the same stuff as AI characters. So right now, I'm hungry. So we can go to market and buy some food. Um, hunger and tiredness can be turned off an option. So if you don't want to, your character to get hungry or tired, you can just come into options and untick this. Um, and then you won't have to worry about those two. But you'll still get cold in winter and whatnot. So we come over here and we buy, say, 
some vegetables we can open up our character and eat it and we are now well fed so that means we are less likely to get sick So while it's not essential to keep well fed and sleep and whatnot, it does help for not dying. Um, there's a new upgrade for farms as well, but the, I don't know if anyone's got it in this game. So a new farm upgrade is uh, scarecrows. So now um, you can have a scarecrow on each field, which pre prevents any bird-related um, production events, and also helps your crops grow quicker because obviously less birds means better growing crops. Might be able to see one later on if they actually decide to upgrade stuff. That's right. Um, there are going to be um, other buildings like the Herbalist Hut where it's a house as well as a business. Um, the mechanics in place, so it's not. You know, I can add a house to any business I want, really. Is the chance of getting one of these business houses the same as getting a normal house when you first start, or...? Oh, that's right. Um, when you start a game, there is a small chance that you might obtain a uh, herbalist hut as your f starting house. And, um... I don't know if I'll leave that in there, but, yeah, right now, if you start a new game, you might get a herbalist hut. Um, it depends if people want want it that way or not. So does anyone have any questions at the moment? I had one comment about the ale uh, selling slower than market. I don't know in, in the latest patch, I think. I don't know if that's actually um. changed or whether that's just unfortunate in your game at the moment. Yeah, I, I don't think that's changed at all. They, people, I mean, if there are more foods around, people might choose to buy different foods, but yeah, that shouldn't be any different, really.
Um, hunting lodge is probably going to be another one, like the Hubilis hut, where it's a house as well as a as a business. And they'll be added in shortly, hopefully. I think it's kind of a cool idea to maybe have the option if people want to have a, a chance to start a business. I think that you know you can either start as someone or whether you want to grow it your own way sort of thing but depends what people want <laughs> yeah um there are going to be ways you can start basically play a later game without actually owning anything if you want like you could be the be a poor or not necessarily poor but you can basically do whatever you want you don't have to own anything But as obviously as, as it progresses there's going to be more ways to sort of to, to play as you want. My GPU and CPU uh, I'm running a uh, Radon 390X, or is just 390, one of those with 8 gig of VRAM. And I just got a new CPU, it's a uh, Ryzen 5 1600. Um, it runs it relatively well, or very well. And yeah, you'll be able to go hunting yourself, it, yeah, that's definitely a thing grab a bow and go hunting some boars and deer and wolves and stuff from for carcasses and um, hides I can see some interesting production events with hunting <laughs> that's definitely something that I can see being quite interesting yeah um, yeah, quite a bit of potential there for a bit of mayhem. More like a bit of mayhem here and there, though. <laughs> <laughs> the farm has some good production events. Um, now, shortly, I'll probably start adding it today even, is... Um, Things, more things for your player to do. So you're going to be able to go exploring into the forest and find places of interest or um, treasures and stuff like that. Just be able to find things. Um, which will lead on to some quests as well. So you might you might find some ruins in the forest that you want to investigate and you can get a reward from that or there might be some danger involved or you might find an old cache of goods. So um and then after that as I say there'll be um quests which is what the notice board is for. So these will come fairly sh soon. Um, so someone will post a notice. You can go um, go grab it and do what they want. Which will be things like um, finding lost people and burning down houses and finding lost treasures and goods and items and whatnot. Um, hunting for bad people, etc. Just standard quest type stuff. Could it also be as basic as buy something for someone, or you know something like that as well? I mean, yeah, I mean anything we can think of, really. Lots of diversity there.
house is on fire. Oh my word, yeah. What they is fixed going on? it. Interesting. Ah, oh, that must have. Hmm. Interesting to know whether that was arson or not. Always intrigues me when people light things on fire. Heavily damaged either way. Yeah. This lady here is... Oh, she's got a broken bone. Okay. Um, but anyway, sick people will will buy medicine, uh, store medicine, all kinds of things to make sure they're not sick anymore. Um, or if you want, you can not sell people medicine and let them die. That's up to you. But um, some things can't actually be cured with medicine. Um, there is a special way to cure certain things, but um, we'll go into that at the moment. I'm going to see my graphics settings. Um, it's just set to superb. Um, I in this beta patch there's uh, new post processing effects and um, color correction and all that kind of stuff which might be what you're seeing um, it's a brightness kind of thing here uh, but other than that everything's sort of set Um, pretty much the size it will go, I mean shadow distance, see how well this runs. I think I tend to run it on full settings as well, I haven't really encountered any problems. Um, and I run it at 1440p as well. And uh, the Herbalist Hut is another use for all those many eggs that are produced in the game. Because those chickens work overtime. <laughs> Finally got a way to get rid of all those eggs. Yeah, that's right. Farm requires four eggs per batch, so... Um, yeah. Just keep collecting eggs, I guess. Now just got to get rid of those fish. <laughs> <laughs> I have some new buildings arriving at some point, so there'll be some new houses, about two or three new houses, as well as possibly a new building for the bake house and the ale house, depending on how they look. Uh, the current version I am showing is a private testing one, but um, 
should be live in testing, public testing in a couple hours or a few hours depending on how it goes. A few things to check out. So far it's been good. Yes, there were a couple issues um, with oversized plants, but we fixed that. Plants were growing about 8,000 times bigger than they were meant to. You know, standard stuff. We have a lot of things that go slightly oversized. <laughs> Not that I don't think anyone has really seen them because luckily they haven't got out of testing. But... There was an issue once with fire being very, very big. A few chickens died. Yeah. He liked big fires. I think everyone like likes big fires and stuff, but <laughs> these were kind of these were out of control. Yeah, like the big... fires were so big it would like take over the entire map kind of thing. So um yeah. Funny but you know. <laughs> Not ideal. You set the whole town on fire. <laughs> yeah. Um, Take leaf out of my book. <laughs> it's quite nice how the fires spread. Like you don't, you don't even have to set every build on fire. They'll kind of just spread themselves as they're given a the chance. And um, yeah, once it spreads so far, there's not much people can do about it. Um, Will there eventually be a jail system for repeat offenders? jail system no um in the time we're talking there weren't really any jails what happened is literally ne everything well actually except for killing your king could be paid off with a fine but what i will do is for repeat offenders you'll have like a notoriety thing where if it gets really bad or if you can't pay the fine they'll either chain you to a post for a day or so or they'll put you in a pit same kind of thing like they'll just make your life pretty bad for a couple of days and if it gets if you get really naughty they'll exile you which means if you come near town they'll kill you so you've got to do your own thing out in the forest somewhere um <laughs> so You'll probably be executions as well, but they won't sort of just be standard cut your head off kind of thing. It'll be quite interesting. They'll be a bit unique. So things like put you in a pen with three very hungry dogs kind of thing. This is getting brutal. <laughs> um, yeah. It's the sort of thing though that they would do, so. Yeah. It's a different sort of feeling to the game. I like chasing pigs. So they actually run away from you? Yeah, and they make a squealing sound as well. See, I don't spend this much time running off the pigs <laughs> to notice. <laughs> well, I put that in like... months and months ago, just because I was getting ready to add hunting in, but I never actually ended up adding hunting in. But I'll do that soonish. Um, and I do have other animals as well, like deer, and um, foxes, and ducks, and wolves. Um, wolves will be, well, as you would expect, they'll be quite, um, they'll be quite, I don't know, dangerous, I guess. They'll, they'll have to sort of try to avoid them, or... 
protect your things from them because wolves like to eat things I hear um, so they'll hunt farm animals when they go out for walks and that's what the shepherd dogs are for is to protect them from wolves which are currently not in the game leather making making a uh, leather maker making whips to make carts go faster that's interesting uh making whips to make carts go faster no oh. no something like that i guess i i don't <laughs> no i don't i don't want to add whipping horses into the game i just don't want to do that or add in Executions and stuff like that, but whipping horses is where I draw the line. Whipping horses, oh, okay. Well, to make, did you say make carts go faster? Yeah, it was to get the carts to move. Yeah. Is that big horsey? When will players require sleep and food? Um, as of you must have missed update. that. That's in this version, <laughs> and it can be turned off in settings. So it's, it's completely not compulsory at all. You just flick that switch and it turns it off or on. Um, so you need to sleep. You need to eat. You need to keep warm. Um, otherwise, you can get sick and die. You can be cured though, if you get sick. It's not that end game. Oh, well, yeah, it depends on what it is, but, um, <laughs> yeah, as the uh, herbalist heart makes all the things that can cure basic illnesses and whatnot. Um, God is the only thing that can cure the plague at the moment. But you can basically now sort of indirectly kill the entire village. Um, by not providing medicine, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, you could you buy them. The you could own the herbalist hats and um, just not make medicine. Um, that's a very long game way to kill people. Um, animals disappearing, at what point do they disappear? Do they, are they sitting in the pen or are they sitting, are they walking around or what? Well at the end of the day production is going to stop anyway, but um, I believe at the end of the day, if they're too far away from home, they will, um, they will vanish and appear straight back at their pen. But I have to have a look. Okay, I have a look at that. Um. Town watch of a guard dies, um, a new guard is spawned at the moment. There's no the same with monks. Of um of either of those die, a new one is spawned to take its place. Just have guards pop out of nowhere. <laughs> or they pop out of their bunkhouse, so not out of nowhere. But um 
Obviously, that's going to change when people join the guard and stuff. And I had a good thought. Um, I had a good thought the other night, actually, is it would be cool to have missions that pertain specifically to the town guard or something like that, or where a guard puts up a mission where there's a serial killer on the loose, and you have to, um, and if you can find out who it is, you'll get a reward for it kind of thing. So it's just a matter of following people around and um, finding out who's murdering people kind of thing. So there'll be a few of that kind of dealio. And the mine constantly has events of blunt pickaxes. Well. That's right. I, um, um, I'm going to make it so that event doesn't happen anymore if you upgrade your tools. And the same with the wood cutting hut. When will players be able to hire family to run the business? So. So to run you it completely, can, yeah. um, well that's going to probably be more part of automation when I add that in, is you'll be able to automate nearly anything you want. But I'm not really quite onto that yet. Well, I mean, you can hire your son to You can to hire your son to work you. in your business, you can hire your family like that, your family will appear on the top of the list if you want to hire your family but they can't run it per se you can hire, yeah as I say you can hire your son yeah well you have to pay your son well otherwise he won't get food <laughs> I did. I did have my son leave my business. He yeah. got enough of my money and bought his own business. That's cheeky. right. That's something that what can not? happen. <laughs> is um, if you do hire one of your kids and they grow up and they take the money they earned and they buy buy their own thing, they start their own life. Gifting businesses and homes. Um. Well. Yes. Don't... Um. That's something I oh. That's bright. Um, that's something I want to add in is should be it'll be relatively easy as just giving houses to your family members and businesses and whatnot um, before you die. Um, and yeah, should be good. Like if you have three houses, it'll be, it might be nice to to give one to your son or your daughter or whatever, so they don't live in the street. It depends how nice you are. Uh, politics it's not going to be that political um, it's going to be more um, getting the favor of the king and he can select you to be Thane and then when you're Thane you can sort of have more control over the town um, you could also become bishop of the church which means you'd have control over the monks. Um, and of captain of the guard as well. But um, there are no officers or anything like that.
So as I say, uh, I said earlier, the probably next thing I'll work on is the whole um, letting your player explore a bit and actually probably ride horses as well because I'll be adding in a stable where you can ri uh, raise horses and sell horses to people so that is an easy thing to add in so I'll definitely do that but also yeah the exploring around to find ruins and treasure and and what not is again another easy thing to add in but should be should be good uh, hiring some guards to present at uh, prevent thieves and pyromaniacs um, I mean your dog will do that for your house and when I change how dogs work you'll be able to assign a dog to any any building you want because you'll be able to buy as many dogs as you want so if you want to have an army of dogs you can have an army of dogs so that's where it will start but then obviously you'll be able to um, hire actual people to do the same job if you want but you have to pay them to do it dogs are cheaper <laughs> army of dogs is not bad um, I want to get some new dogs as well. Lots of dogs. And cats. Cats will be good for... Um, Running away? <laughs> uh, catching things, I guess. Keep the rats away. Uh, trees, is that, when you say the map view, that's the tab view, so when you're doing the top down? Um, yeah, I know what he, yeah, um, yeah, that might be possible, um, maybe ideally you'd want the trees not to block buildings to select them but um, it's not as straightforward as I'd like so I'll have a look at that but not completely sure hey this is yeah, the same house I was on fire going. before wait what one? the same house Someone's got to fight oh, yeah. against that house. <laughs> I can see that being rubble by the end of the stream. <laughs> and here they come, the army of buckets. Actually, that'd be cool if you could poison the well. Make some poison in your herbalist hut and pour it down the well. There you go, it's rubble. That would be interesting. <laughs> Sports people don't and then sell them your medicine. <laughs> make well, them okay, sick yeah. make them yeah. buy your medicine. That's nasty, but I like it. <laughs> yeah. It would be neat. Do you want to be a bucket seller? They're on high. They probably are on very high demand all the time. Bucket seller. Yeah. Um. The there's gonna be a woodworker, so might be able to make lots of things, bows and whatever else I can think of. So maybe I should yeah make it so you have to sell people buckets so they can put out fires. There you go. And then you just start fires all over the place and yeah, that's you right. make money hand over fist. <laughs> but actually you see how them buckets with fire inside them so they try to put out the fire but they just make it worse. Um, 
we, well, I know that I have, I think, yeah, we both have gone through and watched videos that people make on, or streams or anything that people do. I watch a lot less than I did, but um, I still watch some, but I sort of, um, every time I release a, well, every time I'll release new content or whatever, I'll watch people's streams and whatnot. But, um, half the time I don't have enough time to do so, so. See, I don't have a life, so. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Some buckets with holes in them. This bucket thing's gonna really shake off, isn't it? <laughs> um, just reading a question here. Um, hmm. I think we're looking at the same. Um, yeah, see, that's what I've that's what I've been asking is about is like, how do you want me to improve the the um, controls for production and whatnot? Um, I don't know how how to improve those at the moment. So if you can tell me how to improve that, that would be good. Um, and I'm, I kind of, I split my attention, like, one update I'll focus on, um, production tweaks and, and whatnot, and new productions, and other updates I'll focus on, sort of, player stuff. Um, because that way, I just, it's good to have diversity, otherwise, it gets stale very quickly. Uh, we, uh, well, as far as I I've know, I've never it's ever not, said that well, you'd have control over other other characters. No, um, yeah. that's not not a thing. That you have control of your character. That is it. Someone put this. It's, yeah, it's it's focused on your life and how you can thrive and stuff like that. And you can have a family and all that sort of stuff. But they aren't the people you control. It's your character, sort of thing. Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I understand why people would think that you can control your wife or whatever, but no, that that's probably never going to be the case. Um, I'm focusing solely on one character. I mean, the the bouncing between the first person, third person. The I think, as far as I'm aware the first person is sort of a bonus thing you know you can just walk around and look at the life of your character sort of thing but it's played from mainly a third person perspective that's what it's built around and I don't you know yeah um I guess the other thing is you know splitting my time between focusing on this production side of things and focusing on player interactions um, yeah, adding both I think is important. Otherwise, if you just if I just focus on one thing, it's it's not going to get stale. Because I mean, a lot of people have said that once you've got married and had kids and whatnot, there's not much for your player to do other than sort of go and supervise his business or go play a loot in the street, which is what I'm trying to rectify in the following updates. Yeah, see, that's a good suggestion, is um, selecting buildings with hotkeys. Um, that's the kind of thing I'm after for um, ways to improve the 
the interface and make it a less clunky kind of thing is things like that and that's really easy to add in so I can do that no problem I mentioned the end game and that's sort of if you have a family you take over as um, you or well, if you have like a son you take over as your son or whatever or if you have a daughter you take over as her um, so if you keep having children I guess there's no end game like that um, but I guess if you don't have kids that's, that's uh, well it. you don't have kids it's literally if you die it's end game it's like end of the game yeah but um, as well to expand on that further is you can tell your kids to move to other maps or you will be able to and then that means you could move to other map. like you can take over your kid on a different map and take over their business what they have or whatever. Um, key bindings, yep, are uh, easy, doable, but I just haven't got around to it. Um, the game end year is um, 1066, but the game doesn't actually end. Um, there would be some, there's meant to be some kind of big event that occurs, but um, Currently it just stops counting up and you just continue as normal, except the years just, yeah, as I say, stop. Short delay between, or before clicking on a business. Um, I mean, I don't really, I don't think I've encountered that too much or whatever, but I don't know whether that is actually intended, but... Yeah, I, I don't know. Short delay. Yeah, I guess there's a... Maybe half a second? I don't know. I don't think that's intentional. Just sort of... It's there. Changing the order of the properties of the list. I'm assuming that's on the right hand side of the screen, you mean? I mean. Oh, changing the order. Not... Yeah, that is something I'm, I've gotten, got written down because it's. If you can change the order of these ones over here, um, I'd also like it. So, changes quite a few other things. Like, there's other things you can reorder and whatnot. So, I have to sort of go back and add that. Uh, a few other panels and whatnot. Um, I'm going to change completely change the cart sending menu, so that will that will be a lot nicer in some of the later updates. No one's brought any scarecrows yet. No. I've been keeping an eye out and there's just nothing. <laughs> Plans for more types of business? Lots? That's, I guess, <laughs> the answer. <laughs> yeah, there are lots planned and you can already be a fisherman. Um, yeah. There's a business for that. It's just not on this map because there's no water on this map. Um, but there are a lot of um, good businesses coming here. Why did you choose the name Salig? I think I said that correctly. Is there a special meaning? Oh, I don't know why it's been chosen, I can't say that. But I know that, well, I think I know <laughs> that it means something about prospering or something. I might yeah, be wrong. Um, prosperous, happy kind of thing. Um, I don't, I didn't really choose it for any specific reason, I sort of, I literally went through an old English translator and I found it and I thought, oh yeah, that sounds good. 
So that's where that came from. But yeah, it fits the game and everything, which is, you know, it's a plus bar. Um, so, there's not much else to show at the moment, so we got to sum up in the new update, which is going to be live at some point soon, is new horses, herbalist hut, which is also a house, um, player needs, so that's hunger, tiredness which can be turned off in settings and as well as getting cold and being warm and all that all of which contributes to your immune system and um, you have scarecrows which no one has brought but scarecrows help with your crops obviously um, and there's going to be a couple other things that have not been added yet that are relatively easy to add and tweak, so I'll do that as well. But yeah, um, I'm up to the stage now where I'm just able to add a lot of content in, so that's what I'm doing. Are you thinking about making an advancement through time? So I'm guessing that means beyond sort of the current years, but... An advancement through time. Um... So... There might be different eras, like... Eventually, once this is all set and sorted... Um... Yeah, it might develop into a, um you know, a different e era, or uh, I could even make a version that's set in ancient Rome kind of thing, like, there's no, one sort of mechanics are in place, it can be easily adapted to any, any era or setting or, or change in any way like that, it's just a matter of getting new models and whatnot. But I guess for now the main focus is the period we're in and stuff like that, so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a town's expanding on their own. Be cool to assist the township for expanding. Um, for example, join politics. That's sort of the... I mean, the politics. Yeah, as, was as I've a said, bit there earlier, aren't going to be but... politics as such. It's going to be um, more just you're granted certain powers when you. Um, do certain things so you can become thane or bishop or guard captain but this isn't a political process at all um towns kind of expand a little bit but not as much as they will do uh titles there are already three titles in the game each with different bonuses mainly relating to land ownership So yeah, the towns will expand, but probably not quite as crazy as, like, I don't know. I don't think we'll be seeing I mean, tiny little mining villages become cities. I don't, you know. They will expand so. somewhat. Um, they'll, they'll change. People will demolish buildings and replace them with different ones, or uh, people will build new houses, or, but they're not going to sort of, this, they're not going to take over the entire map kind of thing. Um, yeah, and as I say, land ownership will allow you to build, build your own, sort of cultivate land and build, build your own, um, town, I guess, but you're not gonna straight out sort of just own a town, it's, 
of the people who live in the town don't like you, you're not gonna last very long. Um, so, the, the leader of a town will be dictated by the king. So, yeah, you could buy land and you could build a, a few houses and sell them to people and then you'd have a little town there, but um, if the king doesn't think you're f fit to be Thane or if the people don't like you, then someone else will take over. There's not going to be a like set way to have complete control over a town. And yeah, I mean, uh, building defences, walls, towers, yep, I mean, that, I don't see why not. Um, put archers in the towers, I guess, or when the Vikings come a-calling. I think a little roadmap is something that was going to happen at some point. Just to sort of lay out what might be coming when, but that's... That's not done to me. <laughs> yeah, I would like to do a roadmap thing, but I just don't have time to do things like that at the moment. I'm very busy. Um, when I get some downtime, I'll I'll put a few things together. Yeah, there's tons that could be added to this game, um, but as you've probably seen as well from recent updates, we add stuff, or stuff just gets added, um, and then you have bugs or problems that you encounter, so you end up spending probably double the time fixing those, rather than you know adding the content that you can wanting to add, which is why this update that is going to be coming out is really awesome because it's got you know lots of new stuff which is finally something that's w is really happy um so that's right yeah but um i mean as i say so i'll add i'll fix bugs add content but i'm gonna split so i'll focus one patch on say um production stuff and then I'll focus on the next patch on say um, player stuff just so there's nice diversity there and uh, there's a lot of mechanics already in place that aren't actually active or exposed so I mean a lot of the stuff I've added in all this stuff all this stuff that I've added in in this update was done in the course of about five or six hours so it's not it wasn't a massive job to add this stuff in it's because um, as I say everything's already in place it's just a matter of adding more to it yeah as we said the roadmap will be laid out at some point we'll have something done um, I think modding was mentioned, but it's kind of not on the forefront, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, it would moment. be nice, but at this point I want to get the game to a point where I'll be comfortable with it. Right, any other questions?
think that might be the questions. I don't know unless someone's frantically writing a really long essay. What time is it in New Zealand? It is 7.30 in the morning. Um, I got up at 5... Oh, I was meant to get up at 5, but I got up at 5.30. Um, so yeah, it's quite early, but this time suits most other people better, so I don't mind, it's alright. My dog gets a bit annoyed with me getting up this early though. <laughs> um, you wrote it all down, okay. <laughs> yeah, so this, this patch won't be live straight away. Um, there are a couple bugs I want to fix and I want to try adding in one more thing. Um, but that won't take long. Because, yeah, Secret as I say, feature. most content <laughs> doesn't take that long to add because all the mechanics are already there. Beta branch, well, will this be in beta or will this go straight to. Yeah, so this a will go build. to the testing branch, which is the beta branch. Um, but not, not yet. Um, and there's also going to be a second beta, beta branch for special, special stuff. But that's not quite there yet. Pretty interesting. So yeah, I hope you got lots of information today. Um, I'll leave it here and I will continue working and I'll get this patch out as soon as I can. Hopefully it's a good step in the right direction. See you new later. Content.